we are going to discuss the histology of the umbilical cord. That is the practical number 21 and topic number 2. Umbilical cord is a tube-like uh, structure connecting the placenta with the fetus. And its main function is to provide the oxygenated blood to the fetus as well as to remove the deoxygenated blood from the fetus. Now in this figure you can see that uh, number one, the umbilical arteries. They are two in numbers. There are two umbilical arteries are there. And they are thick wall as well as the lumen is smaller. And also you can see the internal elastic lamina within the structure of the umbilical arteries. Next one that is the umbilical vein, okay, which is a single in number and that is having very thin wall but the lumen is quite larger, quite wider as compared to the umbilical arteries. Number three that is the vitello-intestinal duct and that is the duct connecting the yolk sac with the mediate area. Number four, you can see in this figure that is the mucoid connective tissue also known as the Walton's channel. This uh, area is mainly occupied by the highly branched fibroblast cells as well as the collagen fibers and the crown substance. Most periphery, most outer side of this umbilical cord, you will see the amniotic membrane and structurally this amniotic membrane is made up of the flattened epithelial cells. Okay? This is the photomicrograph uh, of the umbilical cord. In this uh, field of the microscope, you can see the two umbilical arteries are there. And within this uh, umbilical arteries, you can also see the uh, blood and the arteries, they are thick wall as well as the lumen that is somewhat narrower as compared to the lumen of the vein. Number two, you can see the umbilical vein which is having the thin wall and the wider lumen as compared to the umbilical arteries. In this uh, microscopic field, you can uh, see the closer view of the umbilical artery, which is having the thick wall, as well as you can see the internal elastic lamina, and the lumen is quite narrow as compared to the umbilical vein. This is the closer view of the umbilical vein, so you can see the lumen is not circular as compared to the umbilical arteries, and uh, lumen is somewhat collapsed as well as you can see that the wall of the umbilical vein that is thin as compared to the umbilical arteries and the lumen is quite larger or wider or more spacious as compared to the umbilical arteries. And in this uh, microscopic field you can have a closer look of the Walton's jelly or the mucoid connective tissue found within the umbilical cord and also you can see the green arrow that is pointed at the highly branched fibroblast cells okay? and apart from the fibroblast you can also see the fibers, collagen fibers as well as the crown substance. You can also see the live video under the microscope uh, onto the following links and thank you very much.